This is a $100,000 a day hotel. And this is a $1 hotel. And my husband thinks that spending more money doesn't always mean better experiences. Statistically, I know this. Most rich people are unhappy. But guys, let's be realistic. You get what you pay for. So to answer this question, we're recruiting our three-year-old daughter, Mila, a child who has no concept of money, to live through cheap and expensive experiences. And those experiences will only get crazier and crazier and crazier. And at the end of the day, she's gonna have to answer the question, does money buy you happiness? Mila! <laughs> Mila, Mila, do you think money buys you happiness? So the first level is food, so I decided to bring a professional chef to cook Mila a gourmet meal. And I will be cooking her a $1 meal, and I promise you she will like it better. Hello, Hello. sir. And this is a gourmet chef. Spent some time at Cordon Bleu School of Culinary Arts, so, you know. Okay, so you both have 20 minutes to cook the best breakfast, and the clock starts now. I already know what I got going on. We're prepared. Where are the eggs? Where do eggs go? Fridge? Oh, we don't have, we don't have eggs. He has that. You have to be prepared and actually bring your own. Do you need one? Do you need one? Do you need one? Just one. Don't be mean to my daddy like that. Can okay. you tell me kind of what your thought process is? So basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put together some gourmet waffles here. Dennis, can you tell us what you have going on? Yeah, I'm doing this egg. Wait, wait! I've never seen anyone cook an egg on a freaking sandwich presser. Yo, give me! What are you doing? Wait. Yo. And as time flew by, the gourmet chef used actual gold. You ever eaten gold before, Mila? And on top of that, he uses $500 caviar. This is gonna be so delicious. Yeah, it is. Well, Anna. Hey, Mommy, what are you doing? You said you know how to cook. All right, time's almost up. Three. One two, second. One. Now that we have a $1 and a $600 meal, Mila has to try them and select a winner. We have a very, very fancy and very expensive uh, meal for you here. Some sturgeon all the way from Siberia. It's actually caviar. Okay, I'm gonna show you mine, okay? You have here my eggs with a smiley face. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. I hope it tastes good. Same, so do I. Mm. Mimi, do you like it? I'm gonna try his now. So remember, she's just a child. She's so innocent. She doesn't know what's expensive, what's cheap. It's only gonna go down to the taste and experience. So Mila, which one tastes better? This <laughs> one. You get a point, congratulations. But little did Anna's know, things were about to get much more intense. Okay, so now it's time for round two, but first we have to put blindfolds on Mila. You can't see anything, okay? Are you ready? Where are you? Oh, and for transportation, we got two cars. This is a $300,000 McLaren that goes 250 miles per hour with very profound interior. And this is an average car that costs $35 to rent. So normally, a person who understands how money works would pick the sports car. Open your eyes. <gasps> Do you see the we will drive in one of these our next location. So for Mila to make an informed decision, she has to experience both cars from the inside. Wow. So which car do you wanna choose? This or this? This one. This one. Yeah! This one matches my mask. I should have got her a purple mask. No. This is the right car for us. Okay, so now the score is 1-1. One, one. And Mimi, we're going to be heading somewhere you're really going to like. Yeah, let's go! And we arrive to our destination. So behind this door is round three. Are you guys ready to Mimi, see Mimi, are that? you ready? Yeah! Okay, yeah, let's three. Let's go! Two, one, one go! Whoa! So round three is going to be and we have three choices for Mila to make. Okay, Mimi, I have two necklaces here and you can only pick one. So I'm gonna show you the first one, okay? Are you ready? One, two, three. Wow! This is a $50,000 diamond necklace. Whoa. Look at it, look at it. Come it's come. beautiful, right? Let me touch it. I'm gonna put it on me. Yeah, wait, but before you decide, I'm gonna show you the other necklace. Are you ready? Three, two, two one. one. Wow! Daddy? Guess what? Daddy made this for you, and it costs one dollar. Mila, look, it says Mila. Is that my name? Yes, yes it has your name. It has a heart. Can I put it on now? 
Okay, but you have to pick. You have to pick only one. This diamond necklace or this Mila necklace that costs one dollar. <laughs> yes! Oh, we literally lost a fifty thousand dollar diamond necklace. And before the biggest event of the day, Mila had to pick between a one thousand dollar sweater and a nineteen dollar sweater. Which one do you want? The this Mickey one? Mouse one or this one? This one. Oh. So now it's 2-2. Two, two. We're tied. We're tied. And for the third and last item, we will be breaking these two pinatas. But Mila could only keep what's inside one of them. One, two, three! Oh! oh. oh. Okay, Mila, I'm gonna hit the second pinata. Are you ready? One, two, two. Get me, Mama. I know you're happy right now, but we can only choose either the candy or the money. Which one do you choose? The candy. Yeah! I told you, she doesn't care. You literally, oh, you can it. buy candy with money and more than this. Now that we've had a $600 breakfast, rented a $300,000 car, and got a $50,000 diamond necklace, we arrived to our next destination for Mila to experience a hundred thousand dollars a day hotel. Oh my! This hotel was ten thousand square feet. It had some crazy features. Dude, there's also a movie theater. Oh, my. look at this! And some things it had were not so common. <gasps> Oh, Mila, it has a sauna. Imagine playing hide and seek in this house. But don't let me get started on the backyard. Do you see how far does it go down? Whoa. Dude. Look at this, look at the backyard. Wait for me. Wait, 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 we're giving away a lot of cool stuff. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel and comment done and we will send you the gift wherever you are around the world. Dude, the backyard goes all the way down there. Oh, down. <laughs> look, look, we were there. There's like 20 levels to this house. <laughs> What's the? Is that tree house? Are you kidding me, Dad? <laughs> Look at this! Oh my! Oh, I feel like I'm on the set of like Disney or something. And in no time, we arrive to our final stop of the day. Mila, I'm gonna show you now the one dollar house. <gasps> Look at this! And this is the one dollar hotel. What is this? Oh McDonald's. Oh McDonald's. And here, Ennis did something very sneaky. He brought Mila's favorite toys from home to sway her decision. This is your teddy bear from home. Now yeah, watch this. Okay, let's eat. Whoa! You like it? Yay! I think we should all do camping. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Mommy's gonna lose the challenge. Okay, I'm just gonna go back to the other house with the big trampoline. Don't make me not like this house. Don't do the challenge. And now it's time to answer the big question. Mila, question. What? Mimi, did you like this house more or the other house with the trampoline? <laughs> Sometimes we need reminders like today that money can buy you a house, but not a home. People, but not friends. But what's important for us as parents is that Mila cherishes the moments and not the ones. I figured it out. Food buys you happiness. Whatever they call.